Now, I've heard this statement hundreds of times. They say the average millionaire has seven sources of income, which, by the way, I don't know that there's even a case study that can prove this. But even if there was, today I want to explain to you guys why I think this is a bad idea for basically anybody listening to this video. Because right now, the last thing that you need in your life is seven sources of income. So as we begin, I want you right now to think about the one income source that you have that makes you the most amount of money. It might be a job, it might be a business, it might be a side gig, I don't really care what it is. And I want you to think about that income source. And if that income source right now can make you enough money to live, invest, save, give back, you name it. Do all of the things that you want to do in your life. You want to go to Europe for two weeks and travel? You can go to Europe for two weeks and travel. You want to invest 25% of your income? You can invest 25% of your income. You've got enough income there to save six months of living expenses. You can send your kids to the best schools. You can eat the best foods. You can do everything that you want to do. If the answer is no, the last thing you need to do right now is diversify to seven sources of income. Because what you need to do as you focus in on your income today is you need to say, I need to get one income source to a point of no return where I make so much money that I can do all of my philanthropy, I can give back, I can donate, I can have an emergency fund, I can invest, I can help my kids, I can help my family, I can help everybody with making more money. A lot of people can't say they can do that. And so what they do is they say, well, I need to make more money. And so what do they do? They go and they decide, well, today I need to go and start a TikTok shop. And then the next day they say, well, I need to go on Facebook Marketplace and drop ship off of Walmart.com. And granted, all of these ways are, are great ways to make supplemental income. But when we talk about the average millionaire having seven sources of income, they didn't get there by going in on seven things at once. I want you right now to think about focusing at, on seven kids at once. If you had seven kids in your house, could you focus on all seven at one time? No. You have to focus on one and then focus on another and then focus on another. So what makes you think you're going to be so good that you can juggle this business and that business and this drop shipping and that TikTok and this and that and that and your job and they're all going to make you buco bucks? It's simply not going to happen. When I think about the guests I've had on my podcast, Something that is in, line, in alignment with all of them is they've all gone in on one thing for long enough and gotten to the point long enough to where they made so much money to where now they can invest in other things. They've gone all in on real estate. They've gone all in on wholesaling, all in on crypto, all in on stocks. You name it. The guests that I've had on my channel have all done the same thing. You think about Jeff Bezos. He went all in on Amazon.com, which was originally just selling books. All in. That's all he did. All in to the point where now that thing made him so much money, he could diversify. He could invest in new things, new ideas. He could start other businesses and they could finally make him significantly more money. Think about it right now. You can make an average of a 10% on the S&P 500. If I diversify into the S&P 500 really early, right now at $1,000, I make $100. Now, I'm not saying that's not important. We want to start early with our retirement portfolios, and that's not what I'm getting at because I don't consider a retirement portfolio a source of income. I consider it a retirement plan. But what it is is saying, man, if I make 10% on my money and I invest $1,000, I make $100 a year. Is that really going to do anything for you? Versus if I invested $200,000, that's twenty grand. That moves your needle. That can pay some bills. That might be able to pay your rent, mortgage, groceries, car insurance, whatever it is. That can pay some things. But the difference is one person might start a little bit too early. And so today is more of a rant than it is a systemized message. But what I'm telling you today is you need to go all in today on one thing. I don't care what it is. You need to get really good and get an income to the point of no return. You can pay all of your bills, all of everything, invest, you name it, with one source of income. Then, once you've gotten that to the point of no return, now create your second source of income. And then when you've built that up to the point of no return, now create your third source of income. But what all of you guys are doing right now, and a lot of people are making the same mistake, is they're starting seven businesses, seven side hustles. They're selling seven different products. They're doing seven different things at once because they hear this quote, 
The average millionaire has seven sources of income and what it causes them to do is be all over the place and they can't focus in on one thing and make one income grow to the point where they can actually invest wisely and make a lot of money. I hope you make the right choice today and say, look, I'm good at this one thing. I need to go all in on this one thing. I need to sell this one product. I need to go all in on this one job. I need to work overtime at this one place, whatever it is. I need to get my income as high as possible right now to the point of where I've saved so much money that now when I invest, it actually makes a difference to my pockets. I hope this message finds you well. We'll see you on the next video.